learners welcome to nis studio i am dr anjana agarwal and today we will talk on a special diet for the ill people or during illness what we can eat and technically it is called therapeutic diet that means diet during therapy or the treatment what is therapeutic diet therapeutic diet is a special diet given to a person suffering from a disease to facilitate the recovery i am seeing a very interesting appetizing picture don't you think a sick person can also have it and would like to have it otherwise during sickness usually person do not like to eat anything so that is the crux of the therapeutic diet and we will learn how to get such appetizing diet that not only increase the appetite of the person but also provide all the nourishment and facilitate the recovery it is a modification of the normal diet in these two pictures you can see the bread is there but very rich coating on that but when the same thing is given bread certain modification has been done so it is being the sprouts with small kind of other spread so all things display that there can be the possibility of modify the same diet into the therapeutic diet so that the normal diet can be modified easily and that is we call it therapeutic diet how we will do it there are types of modification of a normal diet we can change the diet consistency we can alter the nutrient content and we will change the pattern of eating and the frequency of feeding or eating or the intervals at what intervals different types of diet during different kinds of illnesses can be given therapeutic diet are given to correct and improve the nutritional status to bring effective changes in the consistency of the meal ingredients used in preparation of the meal and also the method of food preparation why we are giving the therapeutic diet that means importance of therapeutic diet to enhance the food acceptance because during sickness person may not like to have anything or may not taste well the same thing which he used to like it otherwise it saves time money and efforts how because when the sickness is there preparation may not be required so much but simple preparation will save the time also money also and efforts and during sickness whatever amount of time and illness medication hospitalization is going that is also costing some amount of time money and efforts that will be saved when a person is given a therapeutic diet and that will help to speedy recovery from the illness now we will talk about different types of changes in different types of diseases we will focus on certain kinds of diseases we have taken the disease during infection or and and or malfunctioning of some parts of the body during infection we have selected only the diarrhea fever and hepatitis for body malfunctioning we have selected the diabetes hypertension and constipation 
Let us see in each what we can do it. Now we will talk about the modification of the diet in case of diarrhea. We will consider three things we have learned just now also. Number one, change in the diet consistency, change in the nutrient composition of the food and interval of feeding or the frequency of feeding. In case of diet consistency, initially liquid diet needs to be given during diarrhea. With the passage of recovery, we can improve on the semi-solid diet. We need to give very low fiber diet or no fiber diet and lots of liquid including the ORS can be given in this case. Initially, we will give the liquid diet at 1 to 2 hours of interval. That will help to recover the loss of fluids from the body. Let us see what can be given in case of diarrhea, banana, biscuits, soups, not very hot one, sago khichdi or simple khichdi, boiled potato, boiled egg or curd can be given in case of diarrhea. What should not be given or the foods should be avoided in case of diarrhea are whole cereals or you can say the simple wheat chapati, whole pulses like rajma, black gram like this, chilies fried foods, whole fruits with the skin. Earlier I said you give the banana, banana has to be eaten, of course everybody eats banana without the skin. Leafy vegetables and the milk, so curd is prescribed not the milk during diarrhea. Now we will talk of the modification of the diet in case of fever. In case of fever, the diet consistency has to be semi-solid. Fever requires high calorie and high protein because during this stage or fever, there is an internal high demand of the energy and there is a lot of breaking of the tissues, so high protein is also required. The frequency of feeding can be 2 to 3 hours of interval in a small quantity. In case of fever, milk, steamed fish, egg, fruits and fruit juices, not the chilled one, hot soups, dalia, toasted bread can easily be given. And what should we avoid during fever, whole grains? because they are difficult to digest, fried food, leafy vegetables, sweets, curd, cold beverages and outside snacks available. Now we will talk about the modification of the diet in case of diabetes. There is no change in the diet consistency, you can have the normal food, but there is a change in the nutrient content. Normal diet can be eaten but without sugar and sweets. Frequency of feeding is also the same as a normal diet. About 5 to 6 small meals can be taken in a day but it will be advisable to take all the foods on a daily basis at fixed time. That will help to manage the blood sugar level in case of diabetes. What we should eat when we are suffering from diabetes? You do not have to change much except few things. Regularly take the advisable diet, medication and exercise. So there is a regulation required or the control required particularly in case of diet. What you can have a simple balanced diet, you can have it which includes a roti, dal, 
milk, curd, fruits, vegetables, egg and even the non-veg. What you cannot have? Sugar, Indian sweets, gems and jellies, confectionery items, soft drinks, fruit juices, fried potato particularly and other oily stuffs. Whole fruits are advisable but not the fruit juice. Many people avoid taking the sweets like gulab jamun but continue to take the fruit juice. They think that fruits are going in but there is a difference in the fruit juice and the whole fruit particularly when we are talking of the diabetes or the blood sugar level. Fruit juices raises the blood sugar level very fast. So that is why they are not required. These are the things you can have it. Full simple meal, steamed green leafy vegetables, curd, idli or poached egg like these things. Now another problem we are facing nowadays at large scale is hypertension. Let us see how we can modify the diet during hypertension. There is no change required in the diet consistency. You can have the normal meal, but there is a requirement in the change in the nutrient content that means low calorie, low salt, low cholesterol and low fat diet is prescribed during hypertension. And there is also no change in the case of interval of feeding. What you need to avoid? Excess salt or salted food items like cheese, papar, ready-made namkeens and lots of savory items are available in the market and you can make at home also like pickles, sauces, these should not be consumed when you are having a hypertension. Excess amount of ghee, butter or fried snacks are also avoided. You can have the steam food, low fat food, high fiber food, we are talking about the diet changes in case of liver diseases and one of the popularly known liver disease is jaundice. The symptom of jaundice most of the people connect are yellowing of the eyes and the skin. Many a times liver diseases are not symptomatic except the hepatitis, jaundice and such. But when we are talking about the modification of the diet, we need to have to start with the liquid diet because in that case the system or digestive system is not functional normally as the there is a recovery the person can move towards the normal diet, but that will take some time, maybe days or weeks. There is a change in the nutrient content which is very, very much required. Low fat or no fat when the sickness is at peak, but at the same time, high energy is required to cope up with the disease and speedy recovery. Small meals at 1 to 2 hours of interval should be given to the patient. What you can have it in case of jaundice? Simple liquid dalia made up with either barley, simple liquid dal without much seasoning. I am specifying avoid heavy seasoning in case of sickness. Vegetables, skim milk, skim milk is called when the fat is removed from the milk. Some fruits, here I am adding the sugar in rest of the food items I have not added the sugar because sugar will help to digest easily 
and you can increase the energy content of the food also by adding some amount of sugar. Fried foods are totally cut when a person is suffering from the disease. Most of the time person do not like to have it also. So many fried foods are given and people like to have it but during the sickness they should totally be avoided. Another problem many of the people nowadays are suffering from constipation. It is simply a lifestyle health problem. It is a symptom and it is said to be the major cause of all the diseases. Let us see what is the requirement when a person is suffering from the constipation, there is a no change in diet consistency. Person can have a normal regular diet, but there is a need to add high fiber diet and lots of water in the diet. So that is the nutrient content changes in the normal diet. And there is also no change required at the interval of feeding. So the person can live a normal life. Person has to have whole pulses, atta vidhas, green leafy vegetables, guava and lots of water or other kinds of fluids. It can be the juices, it can be the water, it can be the soups, whatever kind you add liquids and water are required. What kind of food one should not add? Refined food, rice, candies, sweets, bread, refined maida or products made up with the pasta, noodles because they are made up with refined flour. Now we will talk about some wrong beliefs which are popular in the communities regarding the diet in sickness. There is a person who is asking, eating very little is good for losing the weight fast. Is it true? No. Starvation is not good for health. What you can do it? You can reduce the portion size, increase the fiber in the food and reduce the calorie if you want to lose the weight. Another belief. Can diabetics eat rice or potato? Yes, they can eat, but with certain amount of alteration, they should not eat rice as such. They can eat rice along with lots of pulses. Potato you can eat, not the fried one at all, but along with some kind of green leafy vegetables or some kind of salad or the that is why the diabetes are always suggested to include the balanced diet in each meal. That means pulses, rice, vegetables all together so that they can have the whole amount of protein, carbohydrate and other nutrients. There is a third myth in the society that turmeric should not be taken during the case of jaundice. Oily stuffs cannot be eaten. Of course, as I just told you, the oily stuff should be avoided. But turmeric is not so harmful during jaundice, rather it is protective because turmeric itself has a lots of health promoting and health protecting properties. I hope you have learned what kind of foods, what kind of dietary modification can be done to make the diet more acceptable so that the recovery can be speedy and the person can be healthy much faster even after the person is suffering from any kind of disease or symptoms. Thank you.